Good morning. I'm going to do the morning meditation out of Courage to Change. If you'd like to join me, I'm going to do, um, it's on page 134, May 13th. Okay, so let's do uh, today's reading. I find it much easier to risk making decisions when I stop thinking about suffering the consequences and remember that I have the option to enjoy the consequences. I'm going to read that again. Need some more coffee. I find it much easier to risk making decisions. I find it much, my mind keeps racing. Do you ever do that? You read something, you don't even know what you read? Let me do it again. Okay, I'm going to really uh, concentrate. <laughs> I don't know why I get concentrate. I find it much easier to, my mind must not want me to get this. So I'm going to really ask God for help here. God, please help me get this. I find it much easier to risk making decisions when I stop thinking about the suffering, the consequences, and remember that I have the option to enjoy the consequences. Since coming to Al-Anon, I make my choices more conscientiously. I do whatever footwork seems appropriate, and then I turn the results over to God. The results often are often quite favorable. Even when they aren't, I can still celebrate the fact that I've done my part. For a long time, I avoided decisions because I was sure that there was some magical right choice that would get me what I wanted, yet I never seemed to know which choice what that was. I waited until the last minute to decide and never felt good about my choices. Today I know that choosing not to decide is to decide. I can, it can be very liberating to make a decision once the choice is made. I can trust that the consequences will unfold as they should. With a slight change of attitude, perhaps I can await them with excitement and hope instead of fear and dread. Today, I will have faith in my ability to act when the time seems right. I will make the best choices I can and allow myself to enjoy the results. You know, um, God, this brings back a, a saying to my mind. What is that saying? It's, it went in and out. I'm having a moment this morning. I'm sure you all have those kind of mornings too, uh, just where you're scattered. Got to pull it together. No, something just crossed in my mind and out. But I love this about making decisions. You know, uh, what really helped me, because I used to do that, I used to think there was a right decision. And I would ask everybody, what do you think I should do? What do you think I should do? What do you think I should do? And then I realized that any decision I was going to benefit from, because if it worked out, it worked out. And if it didn't, I had experience that was going to help someone else. I mean, I put a lot of value on that experience. It's all for the experience. So now I know that if I do something and it doesn't quite work out, uh, it's okay, because I did it. And now I know. Um, this was much worse when I was younger. I'm really happy al has kind of taught me to uh, just do the next indicated thing. Just do the next right thing. If you're going to meetings and you're, you've done your steps and you're working these principles in all your affairs, then really you're kind of being guided anyway. So you don't have to worry about making a mistake. It's all for the learning. And that's, you know, that's really, that's really big. That lets the pressure off. Uh, there's no right or wrong answer. There's only regret that you didn't do it, right? And if you don't make a decision, someone else is gonna make a decision for you right? Not the, like it says in the reading, not making a decision is a decision. You just gave, you gave it to someone else. So I like this. I like the kind of more of the confidence that I have. Again, we've talked about that a lot this month in these readings is that the self-esteem gets so bad. It's hard to make a decision when you've been lied to, you know what I mean? You just, there's nothing right you can do. You know, um, when you're dealing with someone sick, you know, you can really, uh, if you're living with them and you can really angst over the right decision. But if you're dealing with someone who's sick, there's never a right decision. They're always going to poke holes in whatever it is, right? So you just really have to just do the next indicated thing and keep moving forward. Uh, and then, and God will do the rest, you know, and I, I love that. I mean, I love that about working a program is that I don't have to worry too much because I'm on the right path, right? I'm on the right path. If I wasn't doing a program, then decisions are very hard because I don't know what I'm doing, but this makes it very simple for me. Just one day at a time, do the next indicated thing 
and God kind of works out the rest. So I love the reading today. I hope you did too. Let me know. Let's talk about it. Have a great day. Bye.